In this video, we're going through some different B-roll ideas when using a gimbal. One thing I like to do, especially when I'm like entering into a scene, is sweep past an object to reveal the scene behind. So what you can do is get yourself super close to an object and use the gimbal to push towards that object and then just as you're about to hit it, sweep up and past it and you get this kind of flying shot that not only shows this thing right in frame but then goes past it to reveal the scene. So another thing that you can do with a gimbal is use it as your point of view. So there's a couple ways that you can play around the point of view. So you can either use follow all mode or just tilt lock mode. So I like to use both because tilt lock keeps your horizon at the same point all the time. Whereas follow you can dip down and up and you just have to play around with it to see what works for the scene that you're in. So this first one, I'm going up a set of stairs, I'm using follow all mode. And then when I'm going around the fire lookout, I'm using the tilt lock mode. And the idea is you're getting the perspective of what you would see. Now this other shot where I pick up the pine cone and play around with it, I use the POV mode. So that allows you to tilt side to side as well as up, down, left, right, all of that. And you might think, well, that's kind of chaotic. Why don't I just use handheld? Well, using POV mode on your gimbal is gonna make the move fluid so you don't have a bunch of jitter and shake, but you still have that feeling that it is someone's perspective that you're watching. This shot, I've picked up a pine cone, I played around with it. You can see that the horizon tilts a little bit and moves around. Now the next shot is flip the camera around and shoot yourself. So this is a great combo to use when you're out filming is film your POV and then film yourself. And I just put it into tilt lock mode to get these kind of reaction shots. I hold the gimbal out away and I try to get shots of me looking just past the gimbal and me also looking off to the side, maybe back. You know, try to play around with your perspective of your reaction and I'll play with looking straight at the camera and also just looking off because you wanna get some different reaction style shots as you're filming the scene. A scene reveal is a great tool to use when you need to pass some time. So you can use a seamless transition where you go behind an object and then come out from behind an object to show a different scene. So as you can see here, it, the screen is completely black and then I pan out and now I'm in the forest. So if you wanna use passage of time, you would go from a scene into black and then from black into the next scene, make a hard cut there, boom, you can have an easy seamless transition. One thing you should try to get is detail shots. So whether you're on a longer lens or you're getting right up on objects that are in the scene that you're shooting, don't always use your gimbal with a wide lens just sweeping through a scene showing everything. Get really detailed on objects. So whether it's the tree branches, the tree, the pine cone, the things that you see in your scene, grabbing these little detail shots help you tell the story and they help paint the picture of the environment that you're in. A lot of times when you're out shooting, especially with a gimbal, you kind of get in that mode of always putting on the wide lens and just walking through a scene. There are so many little things that make up this entire environment that you're in. So use your gimbal, get up close to objects and explore these details. Now this may seem counterintuitive, but you can use your gimbal as a tripod. And I did this a lot when I was out filming by myself because you don't have to always carry an extra tripod if you use a gimbal. I just have a little tripod on the bottom of gimbal. That's what I use when I'm balancing. It's a small lightweight tripod that Jayun makes. You could set your gimbal down, set up a shot, and you can easily have a tripod shot. And you know it's gonna be smooth because your motors keep the shot smooth. It helps you from not actually carrying extra gear with you. So another shot that might seem kind of boring when you're using a gimbal is just doing a simple pan. But I use these all the time in my edits. I'll just stand in one spot and rotate my body with the gimbal and because it's so smooth, you get this perfect shot from left to right or right to left. I always try to grab a few of these shots in every scene that I'm in, just because it's a good shot to show the environment. You just get a quick pan from left to right. And a lot of times when I'm out by myself on these trips, like I'm mountain biking, I'm not gonna bring a heavy duty tripod to be able to get these smooth pans. So if you're using just like a small photo tripod, you really can't pan. So when you're traveling light, you don't wanna carry a video tripod. You can use a gimbal like a Giant Crane 2S in the same way that you would use a tripod. Now, another one of the shots that I always like to get when I have a gimbal is a dolly shot. That's when you put it in the lock mode, you point it at a scene and you move left to right, whether you're on a vehicle or you have something like a one wheel or you're just walking. But I love using these shots where you see a scene and you're drifting through it like you're looking out the side window of a car. You're kind of letting the scene just pass by. Now, a trick to make this even more interesting, find places where there's different layers of objects. So in this scene, for example, there's a bunch of trees. There's some close, some in the middle, and some super far. And because of the motion moving sideways, you get all of this parallax effect happening, and it looks really good when you're using a long lens. 
So the next shot is a fun one. It's faking a drone shot. So get yourself up high. In this scene, for example, I'm up on top of the peak and you can do any of these movements where you're moving forward to the side, but just a little bit of motion makes it feel like it's a drone up in the air. Something to keep in your toolkit, especially when you don't have a drone with you. When you're out filming and you're by yourself, try some of these shots and see what kind of footage that you can get using these different ideas. And guys, make sure you check out the Jiayun Crane 2S. The link will be down in the description. And make sure to comment, let me know what your favorite gimbal shot is. Make sure you check out this video right here. It's another video that goes through more B-roll ideas, and it's all about handheld footage. I'll see you over there.